Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brandon here, BB's iPod Touch Help, and today I'll be showing you how to prevent your iPhone or iPod from crashing. Now, I know a lot of you have had problems with your iPhone or iPhone or iPod crashing with maybe The Sims 3 or any of those other big file games, Sonic the Hedgehog, anything really. Uh, games crashing happens a lot, especially if you have six pages of applications like I do. So today I'll be showing you how to prevent that from happening, and it does work extremely well. Now you're going to need a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch, and you want to go want to go to Insidia and search Swap Mode. And I'll just give you, I'll just tell you what this says. It says Normal and Game Mode toggle. Game Mode: Turn off background services and spring Springboard extensions such as SB settings, iHome, etc. Your device will behave as if it is freshly jailbroken with no app and extension installed, thus reducing the chances of system crash during gameplay. And then it shows when you go into normal mode, it just re reboots your device to, uh, to what you had before. Now, it, it does switch up your icons a lot. It like, puts them in random places. It's weird. So you're going to want something else called Spring. And if you didn't have that last one, it is from the iSpazio, iSpazio source. And if you don't have that, then... Um, it should come pre-installed on your iPhone or iPod Touch, but just but just uh, message me or leave a comment if you have a problem finding it. So next, you're going to need Spring Back, which uh, basically just backs up your and restores your whole entire home screen, which is really cool. So after you have those two downloaded and installed, go back to your home screen. And you will see right now I am actually in the swap mode. This is actually what it looks like, default like this. So I'll show you what you should do first. First you should go into Spring Back. As you see the icons, they did show up on your home screen right there. So you're just going to want to open up Spring Back. Open it up. Oops. And up in the top right, you're going to hit Back Up. And you can name it whatever you want. Just put, do you want to give it a name? Sure. I'll just put blah, blah, blah. And then you can also delete it if you want. I only use mine, so I delete all the other ones. So that's really cool that you can do that. After you've backed it up, you're going to want to go into swap mode. And you're going to click game mode on, as I have right now. If you turn it off, then on, then it will restart your, your device. So just go out of that. And then you, it should reboot your iPhone or iPod Touch, and then you'll have what your iPhone or iPod Touch look like from when you first got it with, with um, an exception of all the applications. There's no background, no five icon dock, none of that fancy stuff. No USB settings or anything. So I can't really show you this through a screen because it is hard to tell. But when you do have this installed, when you start playing a game, it reduces the lag extremely by a lot. And also, there's no crash. I haven't had it crash yet. As with The Sims 3, I actually have had that crash a lot. Uh, not a lot, but a few times. And I haven't had it crash yet. I've been using it for a few hours now, and it hasn't crashed yet. So that's very awesome. And uh, thanks, iSpazio and Big Boss, for this opportunity. So after you have that downloaded, after you have it in there, say you want to get your, um, say you want to get your, uh, what you had before back, your springboard. After you, after you go to swap mode, after you're done playing your game or whatever, turn game mode off. It will respring again, and you will have icons everywhere. You'll still have four icon dock. It'll be all messed up. So you're going to want to go into spring back. Hit on the backup that you made and hit restore. It's not going to restore your iPhone or iPod. Don't worry. It's just going to restore your springboard. None of your applications, none of the real restore like in iTunes. So just hit restore, home button. And you'll have what you had before. So that's really awesome, guys. Uh, this is a great, great application, great extension that they added on to here. And it does work with any game. It works with any application installed on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you guys later. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my new channel that I just made. Link in the description. And also, everything else you'll need is in the description. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.